Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks, the day with a big, big set. Perhaps one of the world's most famous churches, I would say, the Cathedral of Notre Dame, out of Paris. From rear bricks here, out of their historical classic restoration. That's a little bit cynical, because we all know, or most of us know, that uh, 2019 in April, uh, cathedral of Notre Dame um, yes, burned and doesn't look the same now. <laughs> so this is, and I'm happy about this, this is how what, what we built is the cathedral before 2019. Perhaps they bring a new edition with more brown and black and a lot of less pieces. <laughs> the new actual 2019 edition. No, Frank, bad man, don't say such words. I, I was really, I, I'm an atheist. Or an atheist? Atheist? So I don't believe in God. And I like churches. And this is really one I really love. Because it's a Gothic church, and I love the Gothic architecture. And um, this, this is a famous building, a really cool building. And I'm happy I've seen it in real. So, uh, yes, this is not an exact, uh, exactly copy of this. Yeah? So for exact copy, we need a lot of more pieces and it must be bigger to be more detailed. But with 8,868 pieces, this is close to it. What I was really happy about it, 250 printed pieces, yes, all the mosaic pieces are printed. Yes, you are happy like me, yes, I see you Kevin <laughs> and Michael and Andrew, I see you. I'm really happy about this, because in the beginning when I first saw a picture of this and I thought, okay, I buy this, I need this, um, after that I, oh. Perhaps I have to build a lot of these mosaics with one by one plates. And a lot of the 8,800 pieces are little small one by one plates. No, they are big printed pieces. So this is a really massive set. Okay, the box here, now it's empty, obviously. Um, the package guy was. He don't like me, and I can understand this, <laughs> but this was, a, even for him, the box was 10 kilogram. And the set itself has 8.7 kilograms, so it's a really big and heavy set. One of the biggest and heaviest set I have ever had here on the table, you will see in a few minutes. So, and they even okay. say here the measurements of the final set, it must be 27.5 in depth, when you see later on, 60 66.5 long and 57 centimeters in height. So I can tell you this is not exactly the size, it's a little bit longer. I measured 86 centimeters and I measured 58 height and I measured 28 in width. So with my measurements, it was even a little bit bigger than they measured. Okay, so now folks, you see around 100 pictures, always one picture of the pieces or one or two pictures of the pieces you will, uh, I will assemble, one photo of the building step and two or three photos of what I have assembled. And so it's four to five, six pictures for each building step and we have 28 building steps. So now you see um, over 100 pictures of the assembly and the final set. So I believe it will be 130, 150 pictures you see now. And then you see me again and I'm telling you if I had fun with the assembly, if, what the quality of the bricks is, how the instructions are, are there any stickers? Yes. Yes, there's one sticker. 
for the what is called the Lego UCS plaque. Uh, yes, it's it's that's the only thing that's not printed, um, but all the mosaic are printed. Yes, and I've seen them already. It looks gorgeous. I can tell you. What I even can tell you when I don't know if you see this. It's a, it's a fantastical print, but this here has a say, has a metallic look, and even this here looks a little bit metallic. Um, but I can tell you the set is dark bluish gray, black, tan, and dark tan. That's, I believe, all the colors in the set. <laughs> Perhaps one or two brown pieces or black piece or something, but these are far oh, around eight thousand. Uh, pieces. 8,000, yes. Okay. So now have fun with the picture, and if you don't want to see all the pictures of the assembly, I have timestamps. Bye bye.
that was a lot of pictures, I told you. I told you, a lot of pictures. Okay, you're done, and I am done. Um, it took me around 18 hours. In the beginning, I thought it would be faster than when it grows, the, the, the building stops uh, sometimes get a little bit more detailed. So 18 hours I needed for these 28 building steps and 8,900 pieces, we will say. Okay, so let's go through. You have seen the box. The box is good. It's a nice box. It's, it's equal to Lego from the quality. The print is great, it's, it's, it's glossy and it's textured and this is not a cheap box anyway. So this is, most of you perhaps won't see it. it. Depends on where you buy, from who you buy and who ships it to you. Uh, mostly they send it to you, the Chinese uh, uh, sellers, send it to you in normal brown boxes because they want to save space. Normally there's empty space in the boxes, but this box was filled, totally filled. I would never bring this back into this big box. Only Chinese people. When I put all the things out to make a photo of all the 28 building steps and all the bags, and then I tried to bring all the bags in. And I put 25 building steps in. Three I had to let out. I didn't get it in. It's, it's a Chinese thing. I believe the bricks are smaller without oxygen. And if you open the box and open they get a little bit bigger. <laughs> That's the only explanation for me. Okay, so great box. We have two instruction booklets, yeah. each around 200 pages. And the only thing I can complain about this, the two things I complain, is we have nothing about the cathedral. And with such a, a glorious set, I had preferred two or three pages with some pictures of the real thing and some information. They even could use Wikipedia, that doesn't matter, but some information about it. It, it would then give a little bit more of its, of its value. Because I can say this in the beginning of the review, I believe this is a really good and great looking set and well made. And that's the only thing in the instructions. Or the other thing is um, sometimes only sometimes the angle is not so good. So when you have finished nearly everything and you're here in the middle in the cross, uh, I put, I started the instruction, bam, 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 and then, oh, it meant to be in the other way. So I had to move back. So, cause I didn't see if it's this side with the round or the other side, cause I had only, you know what I mean? The angle and the size, but this was only one or two times. I would be happy when, it, when the, the angle would be a little bit more zoomed out. But when they zoom out more, you don't see where to put the brick. So it's not easy to make there a good compromise. Perhaps a little bit bigger pages, but I did it. So let's be aware when you build here the middle cross, the first parts of the middle cross, um, there the angle is not so good, but the rest, no problems. Uh, one thing I was surprised, there are no mistakes in, in you know, no real mistakes in the instructions, or I believe everything is intentional. Some things I would have done in other way, but I believe it's intentional. But uh, on this side, you don't see it, but when you build this, you have four parts, and you set it in, and you, in the first part, only one tile of three for before the windows. Then you build the next and there are two tiles. And then you build three and four for this side and there are three tiles. So all three windows have a one by two tile. And like I said, there are three missing tiles in the instructions and uh, yeah, so they are missing in the set. So I had, there. When you see it right, there are no missing parts because they are not shown in the instructions. But for the sake of it looks from all angles the same, you need these three one by two tiles. Okay, so you now you know this, but that's not a mistake. So the rest of the instructions, in my opinion, are good to very good, no problems at all. The other thing is we have two of the molding points here. 
most people are complaining that Lego has one. Uh, okay, here we have two. I'm not complaining because normally you sticker this here. I'm more complaining about the sticker and complaining that there's nothing about this here. The location, we all know. 99% of watching people know that this here isn't standing in Bristol. And it has 6 6K on square meters. So this is a number, you can make a building six kilometer long and one meter in width. Then you all, and you have 6,000 square meters. And you can make it square. So I think it's not a good, for us humans, not a good thing to measure is how, what are 6,000 ah, square feet. So I had preferred here long size, height, uh, beginning of the build and the architect or something like that. Okay, but that's the only things I have to complain. The building itself, the assembly, it's a little bit repetitive, but yeah, it's what I expected. When I, see, when I saw it, I thought, okay, I have to have it. And yes, there's a lot of repetition, but but to be honest, over there is standing the Big Ben from Lego. And with the Big Ben, I was really happy that I was finished. It was okay, but a little bit annoying. And this year was not annoying. It was repetitive, but I watched a good TV show. Normally I don't watch TV shows, but when a build is repetitive like this, I can. Build 16 times. Build 32 times, so no problem for me. I can watch a TV show, build this, for me no problem. But if you're expecting here <laughs> funky building techniques like in Ninjago City and very unusual use of the parts, no, no. But I believe 99% of humankind won't expect this out of the set. So, okay, it's a little bit of repetitive. But honestly, I liked it. I really liked it. The only one thing or two things I don't like about this, the second floor. This is the third floor. One, two. The roof of the second floor, I have done, or I would have done it a little bit better. The, the blades are a little bit wobbly and they fall crashing through and it's a little bit instable till you bring the tiles on it and the first bricks, then it's getting started to be a really good base for the rest of which coming. But in the beginning, you really have to be careful with the pressure and everything. So this is not, this set is especially not for children, but if your child helps you, the, the roof of the second floor, please do it yourself because this is really a little bit flimsy. And that's the only building techniques I was, uh, I would have done it a little bit better. You just use bigger blades or use more, more pillars inside. You won't see it in any ways if you use more pillars inside. So that's the only thing. Uh, and then this, this here is a little bit, all the other here are going mostly directly or till the building. These here you have a gap of one finger and that's the only thing. And the building, first you build the, the plate, then the main part here and the front part from here is the last part you're building. And it's what you expect from such a building. I was not surprised at all. I was surprised that we have 250 printed mosaic windows and I'm so happy about it. Like I said, I, in the beginning I thought, oh no, I have to build one by one pieces a lot. I enjoyed this on the, what was it? It stands there too, the Harry Potter, the Lego Harry Potter castle. The first one, the 5,000 pieces castle. And uh, there you have this too. And it's looking gorgeous there but it's a small part of the set. The windows here are a big part of the set, so I'm really happy they printed this. And it's cool if you want to build another church out of it. 
perhaps you say, oh, I don't like Notre Dame or I want another church in my Lego city. Um, this is very good to build another, out, another church out of it if you need this color or the church has this color. Okay, so the, so far the sample process is what you're expecting when you see this. If you're building a longer time, you see this, you have the same thoughts like me. Okay, I believe I know what I'm getting and it was what I'm getting. So no bad surprises in the set at all. Quality of the pieces, good to very good, really. The clutch power is even sometimes a little bit higher than Lego, so no problems with holding things here. The clutch power is good. The quality of the bricks is, I would say, even to Lego. Uh, really, it feels good, no smell, not dirty, not scratches. It's a good, good quality. Really, top on pair with Lego. So, no problems at all. Uh, color consistency. All the tear is the same tear. All the dark tear is the same dark tear. Only here the roof. The 1x2, the 1x4 and the 1x6, they all have a slightly different gray tone. And some are a little bit textures, the others not. That's perhaps one thing you can complain about. But it would be the same case not perhaps the color, but uh, the, the texture with, with the Lego pieces, because yeah, they have texture and not texture for this, and that's the same. They are orienting mostly, or they are orientating mostly on Lego, so they did this here too. You can complain about it. Um, I asked my family, watch this here closely, do you see something that should be not in there? And they didn't see that here we have three little, slightly different gray tones. So, Overall, the quality is really good, nearly perfect. The prints, top. Not one of these uh, mosaic windows is not well printed or looks different. It's totally all the same, they all look gorgeous. And we have four, uh, four clocks. So you see, I didn't want to do this because it's a really heavy set. But it's, yeah, it's better than I thought. Okay, you've seen the pictures, but I want to show it to you anyway. So, okay. So we, we are through, I believe. Good box, good instructions, great parts. The assembly is absolutely okay for that what it is, for that what it is. It is faster than you expect, it makes a little bit more fun than you expect, but it's repetitive like you expect. <laughs> okay, is the set good for anyone or for what people is the set? I believe for everyone who likes this building. It's not too big, it's big, impressive, but not too big. 12 or 15,000 pieces with the same detail would be a little bit too big. You can make the same here with 20,000 pieces, with the same size, with more, with much more smaller pieces and more details. But I believe this is a, a really good, perfect balance between size and detail and everything. So I believe this is a really the sweet spot. You can make this bigger, you can this more, you can make it more detailed. But I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. I thought um, it could be worse. So that's really nice. It's really nice. And like I said, it's well balanced, in my opinion. Perhaps you have another one, but I think it's well balanced. So the worth of this set, here in Euro, you, in, your, in Germany you pay, if you buy it in China, 260 to 300 bucks. For 9,000 pieces, 8.7 kilogram of ABS, Great box, good instructions, over 250 prints, a lot of big pieces. It's always this, the, the peep. All what I'm saying is that what the Lego fanboys always say, yes, but it's bigger pieces or the piece count. It doesn't matter, just take the kilogram and um, to compare because they only have to pay the weight of the ABS in the production of the bricks not the design, that's another thing. 
but I think this is a really good price. This set from LEGO would perhaps looking a little bit better. I don't know what LEGO would make out of it, but I'm pretty sure it would be nearly a thousand euros or a thousand bucks with the prices that LEGO has. So I believe this is well fairly priced <laughs> with all the prints, well fairly priced. So like I said, I'm a big fan of this building. I liked it in all the movies I've seen. I liked it when I was there and I wanted to see it. And I don't believe in God, but I like churches and Gothic churches. And this is one of the most impressive buildings in the world I've seen. And one of the most gorgeous buildings, old buildings I've seen. And so I like it. And to make my final thoughts, if you like what you see, if you just waited, what is Frank thinking about it? How is the quality? How is the assembly? Now you know, the quality is great. The roof of the second floor is a little bit flimsy, but the rest here is a good, straightforward assembly, not too detailed for the sake of the building time and your thumbs. So it's a good compromise overall. In my opinion, I like this very, but the quality of the set, that's what is my job to judge. The quality of the set is great, it makes nearly nothing wrong, three missing tiles, but they are missing in instructions too. You, you, when you build it, you, you see what I mean, you see what I mean. So buy this, if you like it, buy it. And I looked, it's possible to get this on three normal LEGO base plates if you want this to integrate into your LEGO city. I wouldn't do this, it's, I think it's too big, but it could be nearly minifig size. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to, 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 to measure the minifig and the size and, and the counting. But when you put in the minifig figure here, it, it looks like it could be minifig size. And uh, so perhaps one of you is coming on the idea and say, I want this in the Lego city. No problem, no problem. You need three, because we three building uh, base plates are 76.5 centimeters and I measured 68. So you have the small part here and here, like here. Perhaps this is the size of three. I believe this is the size or the length of three uh, base plates, but not a width. But we watched, or I measured in the German version of the video, it will fit perfectly on a base plate. You will have one or two millimeters, or perhaps one stud on the one side and no stud on the other, but from the width, it fits on the base plate. Perhaps not from the studs, perhaps it's uneven from the, from the studs counting, you need 31 instead of 32, I don't know. But it would fit on three normal base plates if you want to integrate this into a city. So, last words. Okay, thank you for watching. Please write me in the comments, because I live in a bubble. Yes, I'm working, uh, I'm a male nurse. Um, I'm working and I have a big house, I have two dogs and a family. So most of the time I'm working or at home making videos, assembly, uh, taking care of the house and of the family. So uh, I don't have many co often contact with people. And um, so I'm always happy if, you write, if I'm reading your comments. And I don't have anybody to, what do you think about this? So I'm asking you, what do you think about this? Please write me in the comments. I say this is okay, or do you think, oh, I'm waiting for a Lego version and uh, a big payday <laughs> for the Lego version? <laughs> or do you think, like me, that's really a good set, especially with all the printed mosaic windows. They, they really make this. If you make light inside, if you have LED inside, I believe on the shelf, Litten, this looks amazing, amazing. All the colors, through the prints from inside and perhaps you make some LEDs here around it. So I, I believe there will be a LED kit in the future from Lesti or something like that because Litten, 
this must be looking awesome. Awesome. Okay, it's a long video, sorry, but it's, yeah, <laughs> a big set. Have a good time.